Hey. Oh my God. <laughs> hey. How's it going? It's going pretty good. I'm just really excited to film. I got my Perrier. Mm, delicious. So good. Yeah, that's so exciting. I'm excited to film too. I haven't seen you in so long. I know. Um, for those of you listening and watching out there, my name is Violet Trotsky. My name's Got Mick. And you're watching another episode of No, no Gorge. No Gorge. Yes, on the road edition. I'm at the Studes. Different angle of No Gorge set. Um, where the fuck am I? I think I'm in Indianapolis. Oh, at least you have the gray curtains. You kind of got it. Yeah, I'm in like a stunning hotel suite. It's really, they really went all out. Should I give them a shout out? I don't know what hotel it is. It, are you in Indianapolis? Yeah. Isn't that the city that I went on like, I feel like on the podcast, I was like, cities like Indianapolis, I hate. I like, <laughs> I was like bad mouthing Indianapolis. Well, I'm going to find out. I mean, I've definitely been to all the cities that I'm going to. Like I've been to all these places. I just, they all just start to mush together mush when together. you're on tour. I was just, I was just yeah. three cities in Ohio. And I was like, I literally was like, Cleveland. And I was fully in Columbus. And then I go, yeah, Christopher Columbus. <laughs> when we were on the All Stars tour, Plastique went on stage and did the same thing. She was like, San Diego. And they're like, we are literally in Nevada. Like, and so ever since then, they like wrote on a piece of tape the city we were in at the top of the stage so we could like yeah. look down. I mean, people are always like, oh my God, how do you like Minneapolis? And I'm like, girl. I saw the airport, I saw the hotel, I see the venue. Like, what do you... So it was I great. looked great. Yeah, like... Yeah. <laughs> so funny. I love that everyone's always asking you how you like Minneapolis. Um, but I almost got Minneapolis and Indianapolis confused. I'm in Indianapolis, Indiana. That sounds like the same. Which, <laughs> looking at a map, I'm learning a lot about uh, the, our country. <laughs> One time we tried to film an episode of No Words that was geography, but we never uploaded it. Remember that? Oh, I do. We like got a giant map and we, just, <laughs> we were like doing the capitals and stuff, but I think we were actually good at it. So we were like, well, that's boring. Right. Like we actually like knew. <laughs> well, by process of elimin elimination, you can like kind of figure it out. Literally. But um, seems good to me. Yeah, I'm here on tour with Ali X. I'm opening for her. It's my first ever tour where I am singing live. I think we went over this on the episode with her. If you haven't watched that, make mm -hmm. sure you watch that. Yeah. It's been interesting. Different. Very different. Yeah, Very I can imagine. Different. Yeah, doing music venues in at all would be different. And then singing is different. And then also opening is different. So, so many things that are different. So many things. I mean... For my first ever like live vocals tour, like I'm glad I'm opening. Like th the way that I leave each night, and I'm like, that was it. I'm like, that's all. That's all I had to do. <laughs> it's like right, right. kind of so easy. Like no tea. Like not to like discredit musicians or whatever, but especially like I think about like male musicians, especially. I'm like, so you're telling me you literally just show up, sing a little know, number, and then do a little sound check, sing a little number, and then go home, like. That's yeah. it. And There's like, no like, yeah, no glam, no like. Especially if they're not dancing. Dancer. If you're not dancing, if you're not doing no costume changes, no dancing. It's just me and a microphone. Like it's like, and you're a man and you don't have you don't have to do makeup or styling or hair or anything. It's like, whoa, that's like so easy. Yeah. It's cra it makes me want to yeah. become a male musician. Like I'm like, well, you, La Grande Dame, and La Larie. <laughs> do we talk about do we discuss hang. the grand exodus like all the drag queens becoming boys everyone's trying to become a boy it's like crazy i mean everyone like is going through their mustache and drag era and 
Well, I let's get down to the nitty gritty. Like, do you think that the people, like, do you think that's because they're, I mean, let's just, let's be real about it. I mean, there's so many drag queens now. There's only so many gigs and so many opportunities. And I think a lot of times the gigs, like a lot of the bars I think are not even booking drag race girls anymore. They're like, oh, it doesn't, then it doesn't fill the room like it used to or whatever. So then I think there's even maybe yeah. less gigs available and then there's more queens. So it's like, do you think that these people that are growing mustaches because they're like, well, I'm not getting booked anyways and I want to be a boy. So I'm going to do drag yeah, with a mustache. I, yeah, I think there's so many layers to it. It like never ends. Like I think there's definitely part, I definitely think there's cases of that for sure where it's like, you know, it's not paying my bills like psychotically. Why would I be like looking ugly every day out of drag? Razor burn, yeah. Yeah, and then there also is part where like I was reading Lala Reese thing and she was saying that like she is really into her music and shit and she kind of like like got into drag because people just kind of like put her in that as like a performer. I was like, oh, you're like a gay dude singer. You're like, like a oh, sissy. In drag, like loves yeah, put it. Put a wig on. Yeah, and then so and she was like good at it and got on Drag Race. And she's like, I never even like did it for me really ever. And she's like, I just like want to be a queer artist. And she's like, just not. Like, you know, so she's just doing that. I don't really know what Lagon Dom's tea is, but me either. Um, but yeah, I think it's I mean, I think it would just be so tempting. Like, I mean, even like I've been not having to get in drag for like over a week now, and it's just like, whoa, I Must love be it. Nice. Not being, like my my like skin is gorgeous again and my like facial hair is growing, and I'm just like, wow. Right. Yeah. I'm taking a break coming up and I'm Oh, excited yeah. I'm even like I've been wearing fishnets on stage and like the stages I'm yeah, performing on that. yeah <laughs> I was like oh it's a very showgirl wearing a nude fishnet is very showgirl I always ha- I always have to when I'm performing that shit well unless it's like a bar gig but I'm like okay so I have like X amount of days left on tour like how many days can I go without shaving and just putting a fishnet over it? Because you know my hair is, like, very, really like, like, you can't even, like, see it. Yeah, well, my hair is dark and thicker than yours, and I can get away with a long one, especially if I put on a black fishnet. Oh, game over. yeah, a black fishnet, you can just have hairy legs. It's fine. <laughs> Literally might as well. It's crazy. Yeah, what's the point? So yeah. we're testing out the waters there. But, like, Fifi O'Hara is, like, the original, like, I'm a boy now. And then remember Aja yeah. tried to do that, and then she just fully transitioned? Right. Yeah. Well, I also think, yeah, there's that's a whole other. That's a whole other like kind of wrestle, worms. Wrestle with life of, like, yeah, you, like, get all this gorgeous praise being, like, a drag queen. And then it's, like, out of drag. You're, like, okay, who am I out of drag now? Like, whoa. Yeah, yeah, so people are, like, gagged with that. And so, I mean, look at RuPaul. She's always, like, the the power you have in drag, you have out of drag, too. And fucking shows up in that gala out of drag and is fierce. Yeah, I mean, when I was in Atlanta, I did a DJ set out of drag. And it's so much fun. Like, I love it. I love, love, love it. Yeah. It's so fun. Again, it feel, whenever I leave, like, that kind of a gig, a DJ set out of drag, I'm like, that's it? Like, it's crazy to me that people just, like, do this normally and get paid to do it. I'm like, so you're telling me these bitches are just like, like a male, imagine like a male DJ. Like, yes, it's a job and yes, it's work, but it's just like so easy comparatively to what we do as drag performers working in a theater, doing aerial work or doing like the kind of yeah, show, like, like the phys- fantastical show. Financially, that physically. Financially. Like mm-hmm. In that physically, like rehearsal that. wise, like, like, going from doing a, a show like Crazy Horse, where it's, like, I'm doing two shows a night. It's, like, physically demanding. We're doing outfit changes, wig changes. Like, I'm, like, sweating back. So we're, like, and by the way, if you haven't seen my Crazy Horse behind the scenes video, last week's video, get a sneak peek at what's really going on. Comparing that kind of yeah. work as a performer, as an artist, to, like, DJing as a boy, it's just crazy. Like, it's just, it's yeah. wild. Yeah. Yeah, and even like but, I was saying for this tour, I feel like I'm like, because I'm just doing like a 25 minute 
set, like I do four songs and I do like a little speech and I talk and I do a little comedy if I'm feeling yeah. funny. Comedy. And, uh, yeah, honey, people laugh. Yes, they do. Check it. Go check Reddit. <laughs> I haven't checked Reddit in a really long time, but I hope they're saying good things. Probably not. That's where dreams go to die. Oh my God. Ty Sutherland posted something on his like close friends about like reading about himself on Reddit. And I was like, do not check Reddit. That is where dreams I, go to die. One time I told Reddit that they they were like, do you have any feedback? Because I was doing like a gig with them. And I was like, yeah, your, what? Uh, yeah, your website's very <clears throat> awful. And they were like, what do you mean? I was like, it's really like people just go off and it's like literally the craziest, meanest thing I've ever read. And it's like awful. And they're like, well, that's part of like giving people the space to say whatever they want. And I was like, Bad. <laughs> yeah, it's just not. I mean, it's it's literally a place for people that are not in the public eye. Like that's where they all go. You know what I mean? Like if 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 it's if you're in the public eye, you should not be even, on that. I also never like. I don't know if it's like a newer website or what, but I never like learned how to read it. Like it looks like a forum of like I can't even like. Know oh, I know. It's like, like, do I need to put HTML to like decipher this? Is yeah, there, it's like. Is there like a code? Like, I don't like the way the aesthetic no. of it either. It's ugly. Mm -mm. Yeah, with, like, I can't tell what's going on. Like I've been doing like some AI, fooling around with AI, and like everyone uses um, Mid Journey or like um, there's like a I don't even understand how it all works. There's like a hosting website that Mid Journey just it's like it starts with a Discord. It, mm. All of it is like forums and like sub forums and sub category and like just all of it looks messy and ugly and unorganized. Get it together. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I'm like, so I'm like, internet challenged, I guess. Yeah, well, we're just like, I don't know. We're nerds, Sorry. but just about cool things. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh my god, I saw Wicked last night. Seeing you being a nerd. Oh god, you are such was... a wicked freak. Well, I'm just like a theater diva in general. Actually, like wasn't a growing up, I wasn't like a huge Wicked diva. Like I was like, okay, like loves it saw it twice but like whatever and then um but i like the soundtrack and then i fucking watched wicked and i was like oh this is the best thing I've it was so crazy about you're gonna die i said i wrote a love letter to the costume director on instagram yeah i did the oh costumes are the craziest thing i swear to god violet it's literally as if like christian dior himself like you Saint Laurent himself mugler himself and like galliano like at chanel like everyone got together that is our Coco and, like, Chanel. Made. Chanel and Carl Lagerfeld together. But, yeah, like literally okay. like create. They like all got together and made like the craziest costumes I've ever seen. Like oh. Mugler looking suits with like, um, and then like the, the other person's wearing like the craziest like Dior looking like fully beaded gorgeous gown I've ever seen. I'm like, this is like the craziest costuming I, I think of that's ever existed. Wow, that's I know statement. it was so. It I mean it's like really fucking major costuming. I was fucking like just. Well, I was seeing I, like, all of those to... like tweets about how this the coloring is like not as like Technicolor or something. Is that true or I haven't seen it? So, I mean, I might be like was it muted room, color? I when I, <laughs> no, when I watch like the they posted like lyric videos of like ariana singing like popular and like little clips of cynthia doing like define gravity and stuff and i was like oh no like i don't really like it as much as like the soundtrack like mm -hmm. i was like this sucks like it doesn't sound as good the movie like i think they're like putting out like chiller stuff compared to what's in the movie okay like they have the craziest surprises in the movie that i was like oh. I cried in every song. Like, I literally think the movie is, like, almost better than the original. Like, I was just like, this is the craziest thing. Isn't there a you Wicked know? movie already? Uh, I think, like, Disney did one, but it was, like, bad or something. I don't really know. I've never seen the Broadway production. I yeah, don't know I the story. Like and I everyone says that. And that makes me want to, like, I, I've obviously seen the numbers. I've been to a drag show. Popular defying yeah. gravity. I've seen like I've seen the bitch standing on a on a ladder with a piece of black fabric defying gravity. Like, I've seen the whole thing. Like I have a loose idea of what happens, 
the sisters, the witches. Yeah. They like I get the I get the general. Yeah, it's like the backstory of like the wicked witch. But yeah, it's really great. And Ariana Slade, Cynthia fucking Slade, like I gagged. And I think my is this like a paid stuff. sponsored post for wicked? Literally, no. Like, Literally my no. god, like do you have to no? Sarah? I was just. I don't know. I've just been like a film t- like watcher lately. I went to saw- see that like queer movie. I think I'm just like I don't know. I went. You've just been. You've just been getting invited. You've just been home in LA and going to the events that we yeah, invited yeah. to. Yeah, and like Jonathan did the fucking outfits for that. The co- you're gonna love that one too. It's just like the outfits he did. Like the sets would be like blue and black, and then he would have like the guy in black in front of the blue door, and the guy. In- it was just like the outfits. It was just like an art film. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> so i've just been intaking films recently a film critic <laughs> and just like writing love letters to the costume designers i wonder if they will see it i hope so maybe they'll be watching the pod i told well jonathan was there and i told him i was like you're so lucky to be able to like present like your art on this lo- like just it looked like a jonathan anderson like film like it was just like mm. As if he, like, they were doing a movie to showcase his costumes is what it looked like. I was like, this is insane. Like, that's so cool. Queer. This is queer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, like, the same guy that did Call Me By Her Name, Your Name, your Call name. Me By Your Name, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Challengers, and it was Amazing. good. Well, it must know. be fun to just be able to go to all the little movie premieres you want to in Los Angeles. As well. <laughs> I love LA. <laughs> just yucking it, it up. I never- Hanging out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it actually has been great. I was uh, on my phone because I'm just like in the car a lot. We're like driving a lot of this tour. And um, a lot of, I'm just like looking at stuff. And there's a lot of, obviously, Wizard of Oz content just out right now. Mm-hmm. And I was reading all these morbid facts about the original Wizard of Oz. Did you know like the oh. all the cast like got some sort of like, issue from the film like so many issues like that film is like cursed yeah no and it's like the craziest stuff like asbestos and like lead yes like it's just like like the makeup had lead in it or like just the craziest shit Mm -hmm. i wait and then and the way that it just looks amazing still oh my god i watched on it's on the plane right now on the delta plane really i I watched it the other day and was like crying because i was like it's beautiful i literally was like oh my god Okay, yeah, it's like the obviously everyone's one of everyone's favorite movies ever. But I was like really just watching. I was like, this is like crazy to think about, like how everyone like wants something, and then the wizard was like, you all like have it, and I was like, yeah, I guess that is like a life lesson. Like you're always gonna want. Like wait, I need to watch goes. it on the like, plane. Like, don't ruin it. I mean, I've seen that a million times, but like, I want to learn the life. Don't goal. ruin Wizard of Oz. No, it's just like you always are gonna want what you like don't have. Like you think the answer to your life is like something that you like you like want and it's like if i had like a heart it'd be like my life would be perfect like if i had the brand it's like but then the guy's like dude you have it like and i was like the grass isn't always greener you have it in you honey well that's just we we learned we know that the grass is always greener but it's not it's hard to remember sometimes though got to feel like a wizard of oz tattoo so i like remind myself (laughs) okay we're stepping into serious nerd territory right now if you get a wizard of oz tattoo (laughs) It's like, I, like I, I need to get back to LA pronto. It sounds like my God. <laughs> I need reminder tattoos so I don't fall off the deep. Like, what would you get? The Emerald City, like a a chess piece. <laughs> <laughs> That's like what you have on your arm, basically. <laughs> That's a, a oh gothic God. cathedral. Right. Well. Well, I love all of that for us. I mean, we haven't really checked in with our viewers in a minute. We did so many things. Halloween. Yes. Oh, right. We haven't talked about Halloween. We haven't been here in a set. I haven't been in the studios. I've been working. My God. Yeah. Halloween. What do we what do we start with? How do we begin? Halloween was just so crazy. I and then we both went from Halloween on to the next. I went to Dia de los Muertos, which was so crazy. We have. Oh my god, that looks so year. fun. We like have to throw a party next year in Mexico. I, I wanted to, party. bitch. I literally said, I, know. "I literally was like, we should do L.A., New York, and Mexico City." And you were like, I'm done, I'm done. "And no one would listen." No, to I, me. 
I wanted to do it. I just like nobody listens. It was just like it didn't work out like that. But I went and I was like, now I'm like a week, like have to go. The people in Mexico were so fucking turned. Dios Muertos was fucking nuts. Like it was literally like Burning Man and Halloween and like. Mexico City is like vibes. one of my favorite cities that I've ever been to. Like I have friends there. The guys are hot. Everything's fun. The clubs are cute. The music's cute. Like the fans the are so are fun. Like crazy. Yeah. yeah, it was insane. And the hotels were gorgeous. And um, yeah, it was it was crazy. I was like in the streets. And I was like, this is fucking. We went to like the Soho House had like a crazy fucking party. And the Soho House there was like a castle. But I want to go. We have to do. I tried. Next year. But yeah. Well, I next tried. year, and then we can go to Frida Kahlo's house. I've already been to her house. Loved it. I haven't. I was also sad because you booked us a party bus from the Beverly Center, which is a mall in Los Angeles, to the after party for Detroit, and it was literally so fun. I know I was like setting up the vibes bitch I like got a party bus like I was like I love Halloween and then I didn't know that what I got booked for was like you know some people that were working with us just slipped out under the rug I think about the timing of everything and I uh yeah I had to go right away and I was sad and then we got to New York and um that party was fun too yeah well I mean our parties in New York were so major I had so much fun everyone came out we had costume contests Everyone like turned yeah. it out. I like was obsessed. Yeah, it was, was really like fun. Helga G. Pataki. It was so cute. The House of Muse yeah, was the there. Were, um, yeah, oh my God. Shout out to them. We like couldn't have done it without them. They were like so good. They like the House of Muse like throw parties in New York. So they like helped us out and like it was cute. No, it was Love so much dolls. fun. And then afterwards in New York, the Deadly Doll Wall, we went to Paul's Dolls which was so much fun. And we literally were like, after our party, we're like, fuck, we have all these suitcases. We have all this shit. Like, what do we do? We literally wheeled it in to Paul's Dolls with the help of Matt, our editor. Shout out to you, Matt. And like, put it at Matt's table at Paul's Dolls. And like, I was having the best time ever. The DJ was like, turning me out. Actually, all night, the DJs were turning it out. The ones yeah, we booked. Really Skywalker turned it out. It was so Andrew. much fun. Andrew slayed it. Uh, yeah, no, our DJs were turned. Paul's Dolls was like really turned, but I was very turned at that time. So, <laughs> what does that mean? Like, we brought our suitcases and we put them like on top of the booths, you guys. Like, it was like, like the booths are like higher up, and we put our suitcases on them standing up. And then I laid on top of them, like, so I would be, like, at someone's, like, head height, like, on the ground. And I was just laying on top of them. Like, so crazy. I was like, You're oh, my God. so crazy. Well, also, like, if you so haven't crazy. been to New York, every fucking place in New York is the exact same, in my opinion. Like, a lot, like, I'm going to say 90%. It's, like, a big, long rectangle. And it's squished. Like, everything is, like, squished. And it's in a rectangle. And it's just, like, people just constantly, like, ants going in and around this fucking rectangle. And you're just, like, squished. And so every time I go anywhere, I'm like, oh, no, I can't. Like, a lot of the times I can't. I don't feel like I have it in me to be, like, yeah, scooting through a fucking club. Like, down the stairs, up the stairs. Like, no. There's not wide open well, spaces you're... there. Yeah, I mean you're more of a New York party diva than I am, so you don't even have to tell me twice. Like I've been I mean, I love I love it. It's so much fun. <laughs> but it's like a lot especially in drag with suitcases, it's like, where do you think you're going? Yeah. It was crazy. Um and then so we did that and then the next day I had to like get ready during the day because it was like we were SpongeBob and Squidward. <laughs> I don't know so, if you are we calling if, it vi was it is it viral? I don't think so. I don't know if it's viral. How do you define viral? I actually don't really know. I mean, I, I think like it's viral for me. The amount of video like views on our videos collectively, especially like we definitely have like ten million views on that shit. Mm -hmm. It's like 
Yeah, my fucking video of the accessories has 6.2 million views already. That's crazy of just the accessories. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It's insane. Um, so Well, we had to wake up really and well, get so. ready because the person who made our costumes, like, was really rushed, right? So we had this idea. I was like, okay, we're DJing Heidi Klum's Halloween party. Like, we need to go all out. And you were, like, yeah. planning your own judge. Well, I was planning like my own judge because you always just fucking go left. So you will like, so I was, I've like learned to when? be like, okay, I have my, you just like do your own judge. Like I'm like, I feel like when I first started hanging out with you, I was always very like, what are we doing? Like, let's do this. Like it was a very like together. Now I've learned like until told uh, something like, unless we fully are like <laughs> sign sealing docu sign letter to each other. I am doing, I have to figure out my own judge shit. For a duo so, DJ set at Heidi Klum's birth Halloween party, it would be dumb of us not to do a duo costume. I would agree, which is why I ended up doing it. But I was just like, oh, we haven't talked about it. Like, I need to get up on this gig because I'm not. Right. Well, it was like crunch time. And I was like, babe, we have to like make a move. And you like already had shit cooking. And I was like, okay, so what? You're going to be a zombie and I'm just going to be like Barbie. Like, it doesn't make sense. Was like. It was simmering for sure. You yeah. had something cooking. Well, I, also already, I also already had that outfit. Right, right. So I'm like, no, bitch. So like, we like, need to like... be doing a duo costume. And like, we love Squidward and SpongeBob and we reference SpongeBob like all the time. And it Ooh, also yeah, just yeah. like fits our personalities, I think. Well, not really. People don't know the real you. But you're a public person. Oh my <laughs> god, you're so stupid. Shut up. Your public persona definitely fits SpongeBob's public persona. Like you and SpongeBob have the same oh public persona. Oh my god, I am that. I am behind that. closed doors. I bet SpongeBob gets a little pissy, just like you. Yeah, yeah I'm sure she. Does. Yeah, I'm sure yeah, she does. I've seen her. I've seen it for her. Yeah. Remember when she gets lost, and they're like. She's like freaking out because of the bus. Oh, when they go to She's rock like, bottom. I need to <laughs> get out of here. Oh, and I'm she's like, thank mad. you. And he's like, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm kind of mad oh, because there's like so many things we could have done. Like we could have done more. I know. Well, stop. I would like, also love to ask more the lip audience. Like, I know, but it's like, we're getting ready like all day. I feel like normal, like normal like people who are doing like crazy glam and like celebrities and all this shit they're like having help like we just yeah. feel like fully alone like you know it's like i'm doing violet's nose while i'm doing mine and she's doing hers and then this person it's like just so much and like we're doing it and so by the time we're like we're also ready in and then our costume tiny hotel room like the smallest yeah, hotel like new room, small hotel new york's size and space issues can't handle it just crazy and so, like, we're helping each other and, like, trying – it's just, like, so much to do. And then the costumes had to, like, get tailored. And the people, the angels, like, that were doing it didn't – like, we gave it to them while we when we got to New York, which was just over there. had, like, 24 well, like, hours. And then we, we like – All of it was rushed. It was, like, last – not last minute. But it was, like, I would say we gave the costume maker, like, two weeks, roughly. Yeah. To get these yeah. executed and then, with no fittings, just going off measurements. Yeah. Yeah, so we had to get them fixed, and then they got there like, like we had as we're immediately having like, was, to leave. Yeah, like there were like th definitely things I would have wanted to like add and do, but it was just oh, like, like I had, had notes. To, like, get dressed and go. I had yeah, so but... many notes for mine. Like what the costumes that we got were not what I envisioned. No, me either. It's not what we sketched or envisioned, it's but it's not fine. what it we envisioned. It's not what I ordered really. But it's the best that but we it's... could do with the resources and time that we had, for sure. And I thought for we sure. looked and it was great. Just... I did too. We could have looked better, I yeah. think. But it's like when you're, okay, so we're like going immediately. And then it's like, okay, we get there. And then we have to like get to the table and figure out when we're DJing, like all this stuff. And then and then I was like, felt fucking nuts. Cause I was like, okay, let's get one drink. And I'm like, and then we have to film something or take a photo or something. Cause like, God fucking forbid we like- All this work that happens for all the time, right? So like yeah. all this work for nothing. So then we like go outside and we're like taking TikToks like freaks. Like fucking that video of Addison Rae being like, can I take a photo? And she's like, one sec. And she's like, like, that's what I felt like outside. We're literally standing outside the party in front of like paparazzi and shit being like, 
lip syncing SpongeBob. Well, I couldn't but even like, like lip sync the song because it was just so loud. So I couldn't even like get the lip syncs out. We should have really done it at the hotel, but we just were so tight on time. There's like, just you no guys, time, like yeah. the alterations that we had to have done to these costumes to make them wearable. And I still, I'm like, I should have been more cinched. Like my shoe was still wrong. Like stuff was just oh. like wrong. Yeah. Oh, can we also pause for a second, you guys? That fucking shoe. So I, we went from like my, um, like I got ready for our LA party at Violet's house. So I like, well, I guess even back up more. We like, I packed my stuff from like our LA party all the way through past Mexico. My gig in Mexico for Girl, No one's going to understand this. Before. You had a... Well, okay. LA, you had I to go from, from your like, house to my house to the RLA party, from for, RLA party to your brunch in Texas, from Texas to New York. Texas. No, it was Where Chicago. Was but Chicago. I, it was just like, but basically, so I did like, uh, just like packed for like weeks and weeks with like a lot of stuff. And I was going like back and forth from like the venue to Violets back to the venue. And it's just like crazy. And I finished our gig and I put my like Valentino like rounded platform shoes in like our uh geo put them in like my bag that had your prosthetic stuff in it and it was like a paper bag and he just like put it all together the spider and web. i like didn't realize mm -hmm, like it got all put how did you figure this out stuff for your for your nose because oh. i got home and I, I like i like dropped my bags at home the ones i didn't need and i put the paper bag there like not even thinking that there was like important stuff in there and i left your prosthetic stuff i left like those shoes so me and violet were like I was like, SpongeBob doesn't, like, I need a rounded heel. Like, I was like, I need that Valentino heel. Oh my God. We go, bitch. Every store, like, you cannot get, like, that well, those platform Versace. Well, platform Valentino heels, you would think, are still relevant, and they're everywhere. Because it was, like, the like platforms Like, the Versace just, like, ones. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone was wearing little brat, like, brat's shoes. And now, apparently, it's, like, the most out of fashion Ow. thing in the world. I don't know. I, don't I know. went. I went to the Valentino store. I went to. We went to Steve Macy's. Like, I went all around. No, no platforms. Girls don't wear platforms anymore. I didn't know. No, I they, don't. No things just come and go. Things come and go. But I mean, I bet that shoe now is probably at like a uh, Saks Fifth Avenue off, off Sac, off Fifth or whatever the fuck. Like the Diffusion, the like the TJ Maxx, the Marshalls. Like, I love. I, I love those shoes. Like, I literally have, like, five pairs of the Valentino. Yeah, but it's like, been, like, like three or four shoe. years that you've had them. No? Jesus Christ. Yeah. I guess, like, three years you've had. I mean, I guess they're just out. I mean, yeah, but I still have been getting. I mean, I guess, like, we did that. Like, when we did that Unholy Grammy performance, they, like, Valentino gave them to me in red for the performance. Oh, they came out in like, pink, but then that creative director left Valentino. Right. Pico. I mean, what's his yeah. Face? yeah so, so they're like just, fuck those shoes like, but anyways, literally though like, I'm, everyone... I'm glad that like the one thing that you're mad about is your fucking shoes so much was wrong with my outfit so no, much it wasn't like, just the shoes i just i just had to take a moment because i was like did everyone know the platforms were out like do girls not wear platforms at all I'm like, honey confused. your spongebob looked fab it looked fabulous like everything looked great you didn't even do the nose. Like you, we could have had the only, my only nose. You could have had more highlight on the nose to make it look more pointy. I have. A, I meanwhile, I have right. a full prosthesis. Well, Squidward needs that. SpongeBob's nose is only you can see from the side. <laughs> right. You should have been I more around with a little highlight. I love the makeup we did. Mine the way so that bad. we just like slayed that ourselves is crazy. Yeah, no, I actually have, like, a video of us, like, mm -hmm. of, like, just the makeup before we got dressed. And I was like, I want to post that because it's just, like, I always, when I was getting ready, like, a lot of people dress up like Spongebob and Squidward, but I never see, like, insane makeup of it. No, I'm, I'm sorry. This is the best Squidward and Spongebob I've ever seen. And I want yeah, people, I, this is a challenge. You bitches out there, I want to see you do it better. I might redo yeah. it. I love we might have to do new characters. Yeah, no, honestly. Yeah. I'm down. Um, That'd but it was crazy. really fun, and we got a lot of cute content. We had other ideas for content too, but it's just we just didn't have time. We DJed. It was so fun. Our friend Chloe came, Chloe Wise, and we went to her amazing uh, loft artist studio space afterwards, and she cooked. Yeah. It was so fun. Yeah. And then literally really the next day, so I started tour. Yeah, and I went to Mexico, and now we're here. And now we're here. But fucking Halloween was so much fun. 
every party we did was so much fun. I fucking yeah, love thank it. Thank you guys and so like, much for coming out. It's definitely learned fun. like the first the first deadly doll ball. Uh, we were kind of like it was more like a gag almost that we were like able to do whatever we wanted. And we're like let's yeah. just do it, and then this year we're like let's actually try to throw parties. And now right. we like did it and you guys like really turned us out. So thank you so much for coming. It was literally a crazy learning experience. And now that we like, we just are Halloween divas. So Deadly Doll no, Ball. I love it. Like I'm actually so sad that round, you. Deadly Doll Ball round three is about to be fucked, bitch. So everyone right. get ready. Buy your tickets now. Link okay. in bio. Imagine. Okay. <laughs> Relax. Yeah, we're already prepping for 2025 Halloween um i'm I mean, so sad you didn't get to come out after the la one because it was like the most fun ever like there's just something about yeah. everybody being in a costume and nothing matters and i was wearing like your baseball hat and i just had my full face of makeup yeah. on like and i had i didn't have bring underwear i didn't bring a shirt i didn't bring like i was just like running around la and like Broad nobody on. could really clock me because everyone was sort of in makeup and like nothing really mattered and you, i would never go out in makeup like that ever like, I would always yeah. be like, I'm not I mean, going out like this. Like, no. Like, I'm taking, I have to get out of drag. Yeah. But for Halloween, it, like, well, doesn't hopefully matter. hopefully next year, hopefully next year our parties are, like, we just, like, focus really hard on them. And our, they're, like, so big that I, like, can't take gigs around it. Like, so I wouldn't have to leave immediately or something because I wanted to go out, obviously, really bad. Well, it was but so I'm fun. a spooky diva. And everyone was in a costume. I just love people in costumes and nothing matters. Even in New York, like just everyone at Paul's Dolls in a costume and like everything being chaotic, nothing matters. And also Paul's Dolls was so fun, but I literally was like, girl, we have to go. Like 3.45 in New yeah. York. I was like, uh-uh, let's go. Being in drag yeah. when the lights come on, uh-uh. No way. You, you do love that in New York. Yeah, but not in I drag. Saw <laughs> but not yeah. in when I'm out of drag. Yeah, let's be let's be a crackhead. Let's stay up till 10 a.m. and have fun and like go get nasty food and yeah. go to the bodega and like run around town and like take pictures and videos and like be a little sewer rat in drag. No, I do not need that content. Sewer sewer rat for sure. But then after Paul's house, we went and we took a bunch of content with we were ordering at the gyro stand outside of our hotel. We have gorgeous content. We've yeah. never, I have so much content, photos, videos, pictures, reels, TikToks, all this shit from Halloween and from that week that we just like have not posted because we've just been going, 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 going. Well, on that note, I really feel like we've just covered all the bases. My God. We really have. I know. I can't wait. I hope you will kill it on tour. And um, yeah, it's so fun so fun um and also Thank we've got some so <laughs> <laughs> go ahead you're doing great go girl no yeah. what is exclusive i was just gonna pump the patreon because we've just been killing it oh. i think yeah no uh make sure you guys check us out on patreon as Violet was gonna say before i interrupted for once that uh we have some exclusive artistry over there uh and yeah i think we're in the new year, like Violet and I, uh, as you notice, we like don't have, we don't like really do ads. Like we're just like us for fun. Like it's very like us doing this to talk yeah. on camera basically. Uh, and so in the new year, we're, we're like stepping into an actual podcast seat. And we're going to do some like actual. Basically podcast. get buckle up bitches because we're about to be reading ads. We're about to be reading ads. We're about to be like doing little segments doing things we're gonna take this seriously it's time to buckle up enough wow. just talking about dick and sucking dick and cock at my birthday dinner okay and uh, the occasional fashion show yeah um, <laughs> i love it well thank you guys so much for watching this episode of no, no gorge we love you so much and until next time see you in the magazines bye bye diva no, no gorge.